We are working on the premise that uh, mis- and disinformation and propaganda are a threat to society and to the functioning of democracy. It leads to an erosion of trust in social institutions, political polarization, and unrest. However, simply flagging problematic content has been shown to potentially have the opposite of the intended effect, causing information consumers to double down in their beliefs. Therefore, to earn the consumer's trust, disinformation and propaganda detection systems have to be explainable in ways that don't appear to take sides or arouse suspicion. We believe that one way of achieving that is by shifting the focus from what is being said to how it is being said. In other words, how language is used for the purpose of persuasion. And this has long been the purview of rhetoricians and linguists, and while computational linguistics give us some techniques for extracting syntactic and morphological features from natural language, there is no single automatic procedure for extracting the rich rhetorical devices and other linguistic characteristics specific to the language of persuasion. So we turn to the literature on the language of persuasion to generate a novel feature set for the downstream task of propaganda technique detection. We codify 22 features, each with three to 14 possible values. We pay human annotators to label 350 sentences, and we use these annotations to experiment with GPT, a generative large language model, to annotate the remaining data. Our data set consists of 451 articles annotated at the sentence fragment level with zero or more propaganda techniques. There are 18 possible techniques and there are a total of 20,000 sentences. We pay human annotators to use the UI we built specifically for this task to annotate a small subset of this data, that is 350 sentences, with our new features. This is expensive and inter-annotator agreement turns out to be low. Despite that, and because we have a very limited budget, to annotate the remaining data we experiment with prompt engineering and fine-tuning GPT 3.5. We show that we can achieve results on par with GPT 4 uh, at 10 times less the cost than GPT 3.5 and we achieve close to human accuracy on some features at 90x less the cost. Our work shows that the features we have identified are a promising direction in propaganda technique detection, even in light of the fact that the annotations are very noisy. In particular, looking at the non-propaganda column on the right, it's clear to see that our features are negatively correlated with sentences labeled as non-propaganda. <coughs> 